once again with Final Fantasy VI. Brutal, I hope, randomizer. Let's unpause the emulation here and get going. It's time. I've got coffee. Not enough of it, but I've got some. I really should prepare before these streams with a little bit more of what would be called an acceptable drug. What do we have in this thing? Hell. I don't know what that is. I'll have to deal with that after this break. We've already gone through all this. Kind of forgetting where we are. Let me get this stupid uh, organizer thing going. There's, uh, yeah, this thing. There it is. Just making sure that I can see everything. So it looks like we've gotten the guy that's dicking around in the bushes, and we've gotten Edgar at his throne, and we got Celis, but we got all Magicite from these three places. Sup, miscellaneous of Trine, or Trinio. It wasn't an oil leak. Oh, the car's burning oil? That's not normal. Uh... Hot weather should not cause your oil temperature to be higher than normal. Do you have your radiator cooling system okay? Is is the water all the way up to the top? Does does your radiator have a leak? Is there steam involved at all when you open the after you drive the car for a while and you open it, do you see steam or does it just stink? If it if you're burning oil, that means there's an internal oil leak more than likely and that's very much not good, but hot weather is not the cause of that. And, I mean, unless a mechanic told you that, honestly... Oh, God, it's a radiator leak. Okay, so you need to find out where that is. It's probably on your radiator, which sucks. You can get radiator patching stuff, depending on what they made your radiator out of. Like, if it's plastic, you can get plastic epoxy uh, with some fiberglass mesh that you can put over it. If you do a good job, you can seal that leak for a number of months without having to replace your radiator. I've done it many times. When you're dealing with a radiator, you can also do the same thing you were talking about with oil, where you fill the motherfucking thing up all the way to the top with water before every drive you make, and every 35 miles that you drive, you also have to top it up. That's, that's fucking horrible, though. Like, you need to try to put a permanent corrective action in place for that shit, or your whole car could be lost, and you don't want to lose your whole fucking car. Radiator problems and oil problems, as far as the health of your vehicle, are the same. You're going to see that temp go up to the top. If you see that temp on your temperature gauge ever go up there, you need to stop your car. It sucks, but that's just the reality of it. Yes, it's more car talk. It won't be too much. Again, I'm not speed running this. So, if, if one of you guys has some trouble, I'm going to give you the best advice I can. Again, I fix my own cars, so I've fixed... I have repaired radiators and replaced radiators before. And doing a full flush can also really help a lot of times, but when it comes to steam coming out of there, you're not going to get it. You've got a water pump as well that you need to make sure that's not the leaking part. Wherever the steam is coming from, one tip that I have as far as figuring out where the source of the leak is, is you can spray like a cleaning solution like Windex with some soapy water um, onto the radiator before you start the vehicle, start it up, get it warmed up for like five minutes, and then it, it'll bubble where the, the gas is going through because it'll excite all that soap, and you'll just see a bunch of bubbles wherever the leak is, then you'll know where it's at. It should be kind of obvious, honestly. It's staying middle because you haven't run out of water yet. You're gonna run out of water. As soon as you run out of water, that temp's gonna spike like nobody's business. So keep that thing topped up, and then figure out where the steam's coming out, and I would get one of those $20 to $30 epoxy radiation, or not radiation, radiator repair kits so you can fucking do the temporary fix if, if you determine that the radiator has a crack in it or whatever. If not, just replace the hose again. Simple shit. Or the water pump is the problem, in which case that's going to be anywhere between $150 to $250 to replace yourself. Or you could go and get it done for 500 bucks or so from a mechanic. They'll take it all out for you. 
depending on the make and model of your vehicle, the fucking water pump can be one of the easiest or one of the hardest things to repair in your car. It just depends on how much shit it's buried under. Every, every model of car is different the way they design that. Japanese cars tend to be the hardest to repair for me. General Motors cars from the, uh, the 2000s or late 90s to, to the 2010s time are the easiest for me to fix when it comes to water pumps just because they they stick that thing right up in the fucking you can see it so the, you can get to all the bolts and get the motherfucking thing out of there so that that's what I'd recommend as far as that's concerned anyway let's let's go to some places uh, we need to start fighting some people and getting some things done let's go to the fucking magicite cave the one that that's in this continent that a lot of people forget about it's it's uh somewhere on here I think I might be wrong where the fuck it is I thought that there was a cave with the goddess statues in them on Tomasa Island somewhere there it is there it is it's right here all right so let's try this thing out and see what's in here maybe we can beat the boss maybe not we don't have a lot going for us but the enemies are much harder there are going to be level 20 enemies that we fight, no matter what it is anyway. So, let's see what we got going on here. That's not going to hurt. We may need to use that saber to defeat a fire-weak enemy someday, so we'll be keeping that. Every encounter we have, we're probably going to be brutally defeated first, and then we're going to have to figure out what to do afterwards. I hope. And if this isn't hard enough, I'm just going to crank up the fucking enemy plus the next time I do it until I get a version that's so hard that I literally struggle. That's what I want to see. Because you get all this shit. Oh, what the fuck is this? It's not a character, that's for sure. So, we we, we have determined that we are going to probably get more Magicite here out of this. Get out of here. Shit. There's the goddess statue place. This is where there's a boss, so let's go quick collect the treasures and save the state before we... Oh, we can't, can we? Alright, we're going through then. Never mind, there's no treasures to collect. We'll save the state right here so that you guys don't have to watch all that walking around again. Again, we're not fucking speed running, so nobody cares if you save state. Okay, that's very difficult. This is going to be an extraordinarily difficult time. We're probably going to lose. And I don't think we have the tools to beat this guy either, so we're stuck here. This is one of the hardest things to deal with. We have any magic. We have remedy. And we have Tritok on Mog, I think, too. Tritok and Leap. That's not going to do it for us here. We don't have any cures. Probably not going to go well for us. That's not good either. I wonder what element he's absorbing. I think that's the end of us right here. If, if not, it will be the end of us very, very shortly. I'm loving how brutal it is, but I'm getting these bosses that even in the regular version would be tough to fight, so I still can't judge. So Chevy Impala, then that, uh, what's the year? That makes a difference, too. The, you're more likely with an Impala to have a, a, a water pump that's exposed, but you don't even know if the water pump's the source of the leak, so you really need to find out where that leak's at. We're gonna uh, load that up, and we're not gonna go into this cave. This one... We know where Doomgaze is now, so that's something we, we know, and now we get the fuck out of here. I know when I can't win, and that's one of the ones I can't win yet. We'll be back. There's not even a, a fucking character here anyway, so it's not that big a deal. Alright, so let's go to the Vargas fight. That is also easy to deal with and has a few treasures in it. It's another mountain. It's over here. 
Hopefully this boss will be manageable. We'll see though. Hopefully it won't be manageable, but it will be manageable if I think about it. And then I think a, a trip to the, Col the Colosseum would also be in order here. I think this is the place. 2011, that's one year greater than I understand Chevy cars. So I haven't looked at a manual for a Chevy car past 2010 uh, ever. So I don't know, you'd have to check. They've changed a lot of stuff about how the computer interacts with the shit in the car. And uh, a lot of things that I could fix before, I can't fix on these newer model vehicles, which is just shitty, but that's the way it is. What I just saw a black figure up here. Don't know what that is, but... This cave has a secret in it somewhere. There's a, a little-known shortcut somewhere that goes to the right. I just need to make sure I remember where it is. I don't remember exactly. A thief knife, that's great. So I can now steal if I feel like it. You never know, that may make or break this attempt. Brutal Final Fantasy. This is the secret here, I believe. There it is. <laughs> Alright. Not worth not even worth the, the small amount of effort that that took. But anyway, I'm just, the, the one thing, Trinio, I gotta say about that car is that right now it runs and it will not run if you do not maintain that issue like with your shit on it. If you ever drop the ball on this heating issue with your car, you'll lose your car. And it's not expensive to fix radiator problems. A radiator replacement by a professional should cost you between $700 and $1,000 tops. If you do it yourself, it costs like... And you can, you can source yourself a fucking uh, junk radiator if you want to, if you have to. For a 2011 car, I would not buy a necessarily new radiator. It's that, that car... Well, 2011's not too old. It's a 13-year-old vehicle. So, yeah, I don't know. And I have to be careful talking about cars again. My job has to do with vehicles. So, to protect the, uh, the people I work with, I gotta make sure not to talk too much about it. But as far as fixing them is concerned, we can certainly uh, talk about that. And, yeah, you've got... You could also, another thing you could do, that car is sellable right now because it runs. As soon as that thing overheats and you, you, you drop the ball on your uh, temperature management with that thing, you won't be able to sell it anymore. And if it's not obvious as you drive it that the thing is leaking, if it doesn't stink like antifreeze and stuff, you could sell it now and uh, the, it would be someone else's problem. So that's another choice you have. Alright, we may be able to beat this guy. I should have saved beforehand, but it's okay if I don't. I should be fighting the main thing. I should be slotting here, too. Yeah, let's fuck him up! And, uh, dance. Let's, let's fucking dance. Let's go. I, f I have a good feeling about the dance. We need to deal with the... How many healing items do I have? getting bad here. Alright, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. fucking hurts. What kind of damage is that? That ain't gonna give dick to me. Alright, we got wiped. That's good, though. That one's beatable. What to do? We need to get some fucking more magic or something. We need to fight some uh, basic enemies. So... Anyway, he's there, but so we're, uh... We 
we... I don't think we can do anything now necessarily to stop that, though. Do we have a Thunder Shield? We have a Flame Shield. And an Ice Shield. Let's see what happens if I do this. Just to see. If I switch our shields out, maybe... Maybe we can get it done. Fixed Dice as well. I want that. I want that on him. So, let's see here. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot of great fucking items for fighting with yet. Let's give it one more fucking shot and see if this works. Yeah, this is just an hour today, man. Sorry. It, it's just lunch break. That's what I get. So, uh, today is a long fucking day. I won't be done till 7 p.m. So, it is going to be tough, but we'll be raking in that cash. That's what you do work for. So... It's all good. Don't know if Bite's gonna wind up showing up here. He's got time, but does is he sleeping? That is the question. <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> or is he job hunting? That's also another thing he could be doing. Alright, let's dance. Wait, we can Tridoc this guy too, I think, and it won't fucking absorb. God damn. No! What the... Okay, good. It absorbed it. We got some results from the motherfucking shield. The only time I'll be able to use that. That should leave him with still some hit points. Okay, time to dance. Let's go. No damage. Fuck you. Okay. We've got fixed dice. We need to use it. Oh, jeez. That's not gonna do dick. He's dead. Uh, we're so close to death here. There's no way the fixed dice are gonna get me to where I need to- Ah! Oh! Yeah, we're not there yet. That was close. It was better than last time, but we're, we're not there. We can't beat that guy yet. This is fun. I know you probably don't think so, just get me killed all the time, but... I gotta figure out a way to beat this fucking thing. I do. Not that boss, but the whole damn game. Okay, so that, we know more now. And again, another thing we could do is buy Super Balls and beat that bastard if we have to, but we're not gonna get that desperate yet. Can we warp out of here? Do we have warp stones? We have one warp stone. We should probably buy more of those before I use it. That could unsoft lock us someday. So we're gonna fucking walk out of here. I'm sorry. What's the next target? We could do the Magitech factory. That place has so many bosses though and is so so capable of soft locking you. Like if I can't beat whatever the boss is in that fucking Magitech factory, I'm not gonna be able to continue on. So Oh, fuck me. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, this way... What is this shit? God, am I going the fucking way back that I came? I wasn't paying attention. I feel like this is the wrong way. This just fucking bullshit. Alright. Come out here. Come around here. Don't go in here. No way, though. Like, there we go. Alright. And here we go. This is the way out of here. Get out that way yet. So far, a big fucking goose egg on me progressing anything at all. Nothing. Not even a single level up has been done. But knowledge is gained, so let's go fuck around with the uh, opera house and see what's going on there. Maybe that boss is defeatable. Uh, Alright. So for this, I should flick the switch to the right. 
to get the door open. Not the one in the center. That is important to know. I, I bumbled this up last time. It's going to be even harder this time than it ever was. So, let's go talk to the impresario, or the fuck they call this guy. Enjoy the good music. It's coming. Alright. We're going. He doesn't even fucking talk. That's how I like it. This bitch can shut his mouth. Alright, the door's open. Release the Kraken. We'll find out what these fucking rats are and if we can defeat the basic enemies that they are. They're basic enemies that are ten levels higher than us. Can we do it with the BS nothing that we have right now? We will see. I'm honestly kind of excited. We can probably beat this. We are poisoned. That's gonna half my level. That sucks. Now, I, now the thing's 15 levels higher than us. I wonder if it adjusts his level immediately after that. Did they unbug this to make sure that that doesn't fuck with the randomizer system? I, I can see a programmer missing this and not realizing... I don't know, or if they load the battle and it doesn't fucking half at that point. I don't know what's going on. This is really obviously easy, so hopefully I'll get through this. The more he halves our level, the less damage we're going to do. Moog is like level 2 now. We're going to have to switch to dance with Moog here. We are dancing. See if we can fucking instant kill him. We can. That is a victory. We should have done that from the get. We're running out of time. So this is another problem. That took too long. We got Discord. Now we can half the enemy level. Oh, man. Alright, let's go. Let's try to avoid what we can here. The other thing is... Nah, we gotta fight this guy. That We gotta fight the boss, whatever that is, too. These are great enemies to fight. Oh, I should've fucking danced. Fucking cunt. At least my level's not half yet. Let's go, let's go! There. We're gonna run out of time. We're gonna fucking run out of time. These are great enemies to fight. Bye bye. Alright, if I can avoid these other ones, I got two minutes, I can fight one more fight at the most. That just gets us to the boss that they'll probably fucking mop the floor with us. Oh my god, this is fucking poison. I just fucked myself. Alright, we gotta go this way. Come on, I, I just skipped the last two. So, we're gonna be good if we can just fucking snare this guy. Motherfucker. Twenty-three seconds. Can I cure myself? This boss is coming. I want full hit points. Give myself a fucking prayer. This is horse shit. Now we need to start attacking him. We might not get snare. This guy has thousands of hit points. Because... Bye-bye. Fucking dickhole. It's the same move. I don't understand what the difference is. Got it. We are leveling up. They are too. The enemies are also leveling up. Alright, here comes the save state. Just in case, we're saving it on slot 2. We'll see what we get here. 
Hey, I've been having schedule problems. I'm lucky I got a lunch break. These, it, I don't have a consistent schedule. I'm an exempt salaried employee. I do get a uh, break, but it's not always at the same time. I don't punch in and shit. So, like, they we just treat each other fairly. That's how it works. I get my hour, and that's why now I can't keep it consistent. This guy's easy, usually. I forgot what fucking... Uh, I forgot what fucking thing this guy does to dance. I don't think we're necessarily gonna want to dance, but we're gonna try. I've got this save stat. I think we can beat this. I think this puts us quite a bit ahead. This guy, all he does is condemn people. It's a time to fight. Oh my god, it got him! Fuck you! What a piece of shit! We did something! We fucking did something. That was challenging and fun. Alright, let's, uh... We may have found the right balance. We're gonna get another Magicite here. That would normally be Setzer, the character, that you would get there, I believe. Yes, we got it. Alright, Srap him is now ours. We have level 20, now the enemies are level 30. So, and they're, they're even, too. We've got Moog and him on the same level. That is ideal, because it takes the fucking highest guy we have. Srap him has a bonus of strength plus two. Fuck yeah. Let's uh, definitely equip that onto Moog. He's already gotten 20 additional magic from all the bonuses he's gotten. We're going to give him strength plus two. We're going to give magic plus two to Esper, or to, to Setzer now. The fuck whatever one that is. Unfortunately, we're not at the point where we can start learning magic because we're still leveling up at such an insane rate that we want these bonuses to be applied properly. So if we ever find level whatever the fuck magic anywhere around, that's when we're going to start. God, we can't even cure. We have a fucking... We need to deal with our item situation. We need fucking... Uh, we need meat, we need dried meat, and we need fucking tents. We have plenty of money. Oh, we got tents. Okay, okay, okay. We just need a land. Let's land. Let's go look at... I want to fucking see... Ah, oh, I went the wrong way. We. I want to see what the fuck's up with this. Let's go here. Let's check this. And all is good. And, uh... Fucking phone's buzzing like a fridge over there. Alright, so this... The Coliseum is different and randomized in this, too. We might be able to take advantage of that, but also I imagine that I won't be able to defeat Dick in this state at level 20. And I don't know whether or not the Colosseum enemies get balanced out, or if they don't. They're going to be 10 levels higher and in that motherfucking Colosseum too, so... There's an item seller in this Colosseum, so at the very least I might be able to get the motherfucking dried meat. So it's still worth walking in this motherfucking bitch here. All right, what do we got? And we also could maybe get a character from this too, because originally if you give Striker to the motherfucking Colosseum guy, Shadow will come and fight you. So that might also happen. All right, let's see. Did I save? Well, I sure hope so. And this tells you what you're gonna get, which is kind of nice because it's all randomized. So what, anything insane in here that I absolutely can't live without? This Economizer. Okay, so this Economizer can only get one of them, but I want that. Let's see how bad it is. Also, this is Excalibur. I want that, too. Uh, I'll take the Pearl Lance. I don't want that Mega Elixir. I want that Minerva, but I don't. Uh, I want the Thief Glove, too. I definitely want this fucking uh, Behemoth suit for a Magicite. That's a great deal. Great deal for the Warp Stone as well. So that's what we need. Here we go. What are we going to do first? I don't remember if I saved. And honestly, the save's coming. I got to do it. I got to do it. I can't, I can't just take an L. 
from any of these. But I'm only going to do it once. I'm not going to do it over and over again. You know what I mean? So, let's see if we can get some of this good stuff. The first item up for bids is the... Oh, wait. Well, let's see if we got our fixed dice in place. I don't remember if we ever did that. We did not. So, let's get our fixed dice going. Let's give this motherfucker some relics that are going to help him out. Let's get the fucking ribbon on his ass. And... If he's, he's, got me, I, he's gonna end up casting Remedy, which sucks, but you put a wall ring on him. I mean, what is he gonna do? He's not gonna do, he's not gonna cure himself, so. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's fucking see if we can do it. See if we can get a W out of this. On any of these fucking hard to do things. This is what I want the most. Oh, I think we can do it, but Stray, ha Stray Cat has a crit move that is out of this world. It is fucked. So, uh, we definitely have to watch out for that shit. We'll see what happens with this. We may never even need to fucking... That cat scratches the crit, and he survived it. Fuck yeah, that's an economizer. That is huge. That is fucking huge. So, we walked out of there with a fucking economizer. One of the best goddamn items I can get for relics reduces my magic point use down to one so now magic points really make it uh, like magic is the thing we want to get for sure all right so we got that that's the only economizer we get it's the only one of those we had i think so next item up for bids is this excalibur let's see if we can get this that's gonna be harder it's still a basic enemy though i should be able to beat it get a decent roll, it was okay. Wheel does a fair amount of damage. That's a good roll. Fuck yeah! Alright, we got an Excalibur. So, so far no save scum has been done. So far I have not lost anything of great value. Oh, we need to check the item store and see if we've got our dried meat. You bitch. And then there's probably a guy in here that will tell me whether or not it's a magicite or a character that is missing from here. That guy used to be an item guy, didn't he? Nobody here has anything fucking useful to say. About over in this place. Siegfried. Piece of shit. I've never understood Siegfried and his mystery. I don't know if, if they ever finished that plot arc or whatever they were trying to do. Alright, there's no item store in there. It's, it's gone. There used to be one, I thought. I might be wrong, but... Okay. Let's do another one. This is... They don't gain any level ups from this either, I'm pretty sure, so... Uh, anything else I want... That Magicite became something... That I wanted. Oh, oh, I became a Behemoth. Let's see what we get here. This should be definitely winnable. There's that remedy, as I expected. There's that... I'm, I was smart to put that fucking wall ring on this bitch. Oh, that's a kill. Alright! Off we go. So far, no save scums for water... Watortle tail. You got your wish. I'm done with this. So, we, we got what we came for here. Let's, let's fucking divvy up the spoils here. An Excalibur for Moog. Fantastic. And a Bahoma suit for, for Moog. This is a fucking game changer. And then the Economizer. 
I'm gonna have to give that right now to Setzer because he has fucking Ice 2 spell. So you can just cast that whenever the fuck he wants now. That was fucking good. And that was a good trip to come over there. No L's were taken, so lick a nut. Uh, there's Daryl's Tomb. This is a good place to go. We can give this place a shot. Even if we can't beat the boss or the present monster, we can still take all the treasure out of here, so... Oh, that's Cole Hagen. It ain't the tomb. What the fuck am I thinking? Just across the river here is the tomb. There it is. So these basic enemies we're fighting are not near as difficult to beat with that 10 level increase as these motherfucking, uh... bosses are. Now, I may have to crank that that difficulty up even higher, just considering how easy it was for Setzer to fucking make short work of those Colosseum people. Oh, you gotta fucking do... I know what to do there, but we'll... We have to find the scrambled message or some shit first. Let's go get this. Take a shot if you're playing that game. It's a good game to play. Come through here and see what the fuck's up with this. Take another shot. Crystal Helm. Open the way up somewhere there. supposed to be the world is square, but you have to do something to trigger that. We'll get to it. There, here's the spot. So I just have to read these all, and then I can go back and put them in correctly. It's backwards, too. And we have done progress, for sure. But... As you can see here, not a whole lot. I did get a magic point, so I should put that on. Or a magic, uh... Oh, no. What did I get that magicite from? I got it from... Fuck, I don't remember now where I got that goddamn magicite. Uh... It was out of the Opera House. And that's a Celes one, I think? No. Yeah, it's this one. Hold on, you're not gotten yet. Oh, and let's get you, Hylet, and you. Alright, we're back with the correct stuff, Hylet, now. Uh, let's go up and... Oh, God, fucking in that. Reactivate this. Let's go up and deal with the, uh, the tombstone thing. I just have a feeling there's something good up here. basement. I thought it was here. I thought there was some fucking... Yeah, there it is. It's right there now. How do I get it? There we go. It's not going to be an experience egg. It's going to be empty. Eh. Atlas armlet. Whatever. Not worth... Okay. Let's raise... I don't know what makes that the third fucking basement either. 
this mod's great. You do need to beat the vanilla game. The vanilla game's a masterpiece. So here's where we are able to save and figure out whether we get to go farther here or not. There is a present monster here and a free chest as well. And then there's a character check up here or a magicite and a boss. We'll see what we can get. There's the chest monster. Let's see if we can get anything out of this. That's a big one. We don't have a uh, float, so we're probably going to die here. That, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Oh, this guy doesn't have the economizer. Let's do a dance. And... Come on. Fuck this guy. Yeah! You're fucked. What do we get? A shit ton of experience points. Hardened. Not bad, but not great. Not a great item. But... I don't think I'll use it for anything but throwing. Maybe I could sell it too. So now we're now we're getting somewhere here. These guys should be pretty pumped as well. Still no cure magic on anyone, but this guy's on his way to cure three. Almost has that motherfucker. So let's let's tent up. It's our last tent and we'll see what the fuck is up with this boss. It's gonna be now at this point. This boss is gonna be set to level 38. this free thing, whatever it is. Um, it's not bad. And uh, that can really help in some cases, like fighting Kefka, for example. Siren! Hey, it's a Magicite. Oh, this is a free one! Watch this, guys! We got it! Phoenix with an F, motherfuckers! Not gonna suplex him, but this is the next best thing. Guy can lick a nut. Peace, bitch! Give me my magicite. Another magicite fucking in the hand with a bunch of experience once again. So let's get that magicite on the board and let's get Dull Holland or whatever the fuck that boss is called pilot here. That's a sensor check, I believe. There it is. Bam! Done. We are moving forward with this fucking thing. These have been easy fucking free bosses, so it's just pure luck. But I worry about the challenge as I continue to become huge. This is... We're level 40 bosses now that are being fought. Just like that. That was really quick. I still have no characters either. Alright, we're out of that bitch. So done deal. So let's look at the old requirement board here. That is not what I'm talking about. Track. Yep. Okay, so here's the progress so far. We got a lot to go. So let's keep it rolling. I forgot what Search the Skies was. It was hard, though. It was a hard boss. Alright, we'll, we'll go... Let's go fucking... Let's go to World of fucking Ruin... Uh... Let's go to World of Ruins Burning House. I think we're good enough at this point. We may stand a chance. Another timed battle, but we may stand a chance enough to, to beat this guy. Alright, so this is nothing but Magicite here as well, but here we go.
Alright, the chest monster here could be anything. We're going to save that state so that you don't have to watch all that again. I'm going to save it twice. Alright, here we go. It is the presenter. Level 40 presenter, it should be harder than the original, which means it's going to have a lot of hit points. This is an easy fucking enemy, though. That sucks. What the hell? What did I just watch? What, what, what the fuck? I don't recall that. Um. Alright, well, that sucked. Let's not cast magic on that thing. Yeah, it was it was the fucking three stooges. We're fucked. Good, this is still a challenge. That's what I need to see. Alright, so this guy uses lightning damage. We need to obviously re-equip here. I'm not giving up on that one yet. I think we can equip ourselves out to, to, to beat that guy. We got a time limit, but we got a time to equip this shit, so... No Aggies for you, you get to fucking have a Thunder Shield. And... Is it the Ice Shield that also absorbs Thunder? Something does. Let me look at that Thunder. These shields here. If you look into these shields, you can see no effect Ice. So that's not it, not the Flame Shield, the Ice Shield. There's nothing that, that helps against Thunder there. Yeah, I think we're we're stuck with what we've got here. So, we've got one guy that may uh, be able to withstand all this horse shit. That Wombat fucked me up. Goddamn, well, welcome to the motherfucking Twitch channel. Make sure you fucking follow that bitch so that you can find out when I'm streaming. It's somewhat regular. I do it every weekend with Bite Binge. Bite Binge is my friend and partner in streaming here uh, nowadays. We don't want to ice. Okay, come on. That's a big roll. That's big. He's still alive. That's what I like to see. Uh-oh. I fucked myself just now. Oh, it's, it's gonna forgive me. No, it's not. Fuck. There was no way I could have avoided that. I don't remember who I gave the Thunder Shield to, but whoever that is, they could maybe get healed from this asshole. We gotta fight two bosses also. This presenter is taking a long time. He is dead, but... Okay roll there. Got him! Okay. He's fucked. We got one more boss to deal with here before we can say that we we can walk out of this one. Dragon Claw, the item. A good item, too. So, that's not a horrible thing to get. We need to use a Phoenix down. And... Where's my potions? Thought I fucking did this. Thought I bought potions. Fuck. This is what we need to do. It sucks to use an X potion, but that's the fucking way it works. Alright. We got a boss now. Oh, there is no boss. Never mind, I'm retarded. It's this guy. It's just another check. Oh, a bunch of pugs. This could be tough. That's not good. That's not good at all. If they're that evasive, this will probably get absorbed for whatever reason. Every time so far I've tried to use this shit, it's fucked me over. 
that's good. Okay. It, he can't hit the bitches. He can't hit them. This is a big problem. These things are gonna get to us any second now. Dance. Dance, you fuck. Use this one. Got one. Yes, cure. Cure, you fuck. That's a shitty roll. It's good damage. Um, fight, fight, fight. Who the F? It's spam, I'm sure. I'm not answering this shit. I don't have time to answer it. It's a timed battle. El Nino. Remember that? Remember how fucking scared everybody was of that shit? That fucking cured him. What an asshole. Give me a good roll! We're done! We did it! All we need to do is collect all the treasure... And we're out of here. I don't know what I got. What did I get from that guy? I fucking missed it. Was it worth it? I don't fucking know. I'm gonna get out of here and I can look at the chat again because I have time now. Is there something in this stove? No. Alright. Peace, bitches! I'm out of this bitch! Give me my magicite! Or item. I can't believe they made a laughing animation for that merchant. A magus rod. That's not very good. But whatever. It's still something. We are now at level 30. The enemies are at level 40. Probably should have put a plus 20 cap on that level. Because once you start getting fucking going, you got some damage happening. Oh, we should check the fucking stores for meat. I want meat. If I can find that dried meat, we're gonna be good to go. God damn it. Fucking worthless. I do want more of these. The rest of that... Actually... Just in case. You never know when you're gonna need your fucking hit points up. That's gonna be the most efficient way to do it. As far as money is concerned. Check this place for meat. I definitely have a Discord, dude. I actually keep active on there. Fairly active. I don't just sit there on there all day, but I, I give stock tips and shit on there. Like, the market just fucking took a big dump, but if you'd have been looking at my Discord, I liquidated on Monday this week, except for one stock, and, uh, had you followed me, you'd avoid losing money in your stocks, for example. And then we put fucking pictures of our food and shit on there and and generally harass each other and bipe in shows off all his retro shit in there. It's worth having. And also, every once in a while, we let motherfuckers on our stream and actually play with them, too. But you have to have Discord in order to talk to us. So you definitely want to get that Discord link rolling. Get in the server. You may not use it this week. You may not use it next week, but one day you may get to fucking join us in a multiplayer game and you're going to want to have that shit set up because we're not going to wait for you to do that. We assume if you're going to come in and play the game with us that you're going to be fucking set up with that shit. Alright, let's get these fucking stores. I'm almost done. We have three minutes left. I have a meeting, unfortunately. You don't think it dropped dick? Damn, that sucks. Um, I'm going back to Japan next year in, uh, I believe it will be March, so 
possibly uh, April, but it should be March. Uh, I have passport issues I gotta deal with first. I've heard it's very, very, very long to get your passport renewed right now. So I gotta get that thing renewed, because it will be expired by that point, but uh, yeah, we're going to, we're going back in March, now that this corona scare is done. Japan's not doing as good with corona as we are. They don't have the vaccine rollout that we do, so right now we can't be going over there, but I am predicting that by that point, we should be able to go. And if we can't, I don't know where the fuck these vendors are at. This guy's a vendor for this. Garbage. Where's the item vendor? It's up here. You got something for me, bitch? Nothing. Got potions. protect myself against that shit. Uh, we're done. I don't want to deal with that relic kid. I don't care about him. Alright, we're out of this fucking town. Peace. Bitcoin dropped for several reasons. I mean, Elon Musk and his fucking failure to accept it for Tesla payments, or whatever, that caused the fluctuation a couple of weeks ago and his SNL performance and all that shit but today I think that shit dropped like 24% so if you didn't listen to me and it was because of China not Elon Musk so do your research I know more about something I'm not even investing in than you guys do so you should be if I start giving you facts about something that you don't even know about something I don't even fucking invest in you gotta start worrying I hope you don't have a cent in Bitcoin if you should already be on top of world events if you do because China's the reason that the Bitcoin went down today like so much because they are going to regulate the fuck out of it I told you motherfuckers that there is no safety in any of that shit you are basically dropping your money down a wishing well with, with fucking cryptocurrency so just be aware all of your doge has lost its value and it may go back it may not it's a goddamn gamble you are you're not you get nothing concrete out of that and all the naysayers like myself whenever it drops like this we're like ha i told you but in reality it hasn't done what i think it's going to do which is become fucking worthless so get ready for that day that's going to be a fucking reckoning let me tell you uh, where can I find the meat? Ah, uh, it's, it's fucking time. It's goddamn time. Let me save this fucking game. That lunch goes way too fast. That's fucked how fast that is. The fastest hour I've ever experienced. I mean, hours go by slower when I'm a fucking sleep than this. But anyway, you bitches have a good fucking day. Throw one back for me when you can. I'll see you on the next one, fucking bitch.